What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we're going to be talking about gaming journalists yet again. And uh, I felt this was necessary. I know not everybody loves when I do this. I really think it's a very small minority of people, though. I love making it. I think it's important to call these things out whenever it's possible, and so that's what I'm going to do. So let me catch people up, right? Oftentimes with these things, I see them and very few other people do, which is okay. It's okay. So yesterday, there was a new gaming studio formed, okay? Small team, relatively small team, and they took a picture, okay, of themselves standing basically on steps. And I'll show things kind of throughout this video. And they were all white males. Now, we know that that's basically the sign of the devil you know what i mean that's like the worst thing you could possibly do and that's a joke by the way because just because you like that's we'll talk about that later but just because you're white and just because you're a male i i don't know what people think that immediately makes you but clearly it's become something so our good old friend and, and he's not jason schreier right he crawled out of his hole and he sent out a tweet and his tweet was it's pretty wild that in 2021 a new game studio still looks like this. Now, the first thing I want to say, the funniest thing, is while the picture is all males and all white males, I guess, right? In fact, if you go on the company's website, there is females working there. So he didn't even do the research to go on the website to see if maybe that wasn't the entire team that took the picture, okay? But bottom line, it truly doesn't matter. But of course, that's Jason just kind of throwing his literal, there's no other way of saying it, it's his political ideology, right, into the world. It doesn't matter. And then he doubled down. See, the worst part is this is his uh, kind of reluctancy to just like shut his mouth, right? He doubles down and he basically said how he once had a podcast with him and one other guy. And as soon as they, and they added a female, they just had to. And as soon as they added the female, they felt like the show just like took out to another level because it was a different perspective. As if people, just because they're the same race, and gender don't have different perspectives. I don't know what kind of messed up backward world we're all living in, or at least Jason is living in, but two people are literal. Di I know plenty white males, okay, that I have, that we do not see eye to eye on certain things. We are completely different. So for him to insinuate that that's the case is laughable. But, you know, why is this such a big deal? Okay, why is it such a big deal? Well, there is an ending to the story that I'll leave, you know, for a couple seconds before I bring it up. But the biggest thing is Jason is part of, you know, the video game uh, journalist hive mind, the cult, really, that, you know, we've talked so much about it over the last couple years on the channel, and many other people have done a phenomenal job. By the way, a lot of this stuff comes from uh, Sophia Narwitz. I always recommend, uh, you know, following her on Twitter. She's a phenomenal actual journalist who does stuff, who doesn't get caught up in the politics. Actually, she calls them out, you know, when it's uh, when it's brought up and not, you know, I'm not saying you can't have politics or like these things aren't important, but, you know, they pick and choose and it's not exactly um, fair or it's not exactly right the way they do it. But the point is, Jason is part of this group that literally, and this is what I tweeted, Jason's part of this group that preaches inclusivity, right? Just uh, include everybody, include anybody. Anybody that wants to join, have them join. It doesn't matter if they're good for the job or bad for the job. Just have them join. Be respectful. Treat, you know, literally just, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. These are some of the main, you know, bullet points that these guys preach nonstop. And yet Jason, as soon as he sees an a, a, a area that he's willing to speak out on like this, right? It's an easy Twitter brownie point kind of situation. He jumps on it. It's laughable. It's laughable that he's literally making fun of the studio because what? They don't have diversity. They could still be different just because they're the same race. And again, like that's the most laughable thing I can think of. And don't tell me, you know, it's 2021. Hire the best people for the job. And I'm not saying, you know, maybe they couldn't, but like the point is, the point is, the picture wasn't the entire studio as it was. Now, if the picture was the entire studio, that's still that's their that's their studio. Like you're not part of the studio. Shut up. You know, if now if they make bad games or they make bad decisions, call it out. I would call it out. You know, I I don't even know who this studio is. I don't know if I'm going to support their games or not, but I do know that I don't care what they're made up of as long as they hired the best people, as long as they think they're going to put out a really good game and then as long as they do put out a good game. That's all I care about. That's all it ever 
comes down to in terms of this industry. Okay, I mean, maybe there's more important things in different, you know, factions of life, but that's what it comes down to. So it's just hilarious that these are the people, and there's more that I do want to say about, about Jason, but these are the people that will preach respect and treating others the way you want, to be, you want to be treated. But as soon as something goes against their, you know, deranged mind, they're, they're, you know, it's guns blazing. And that's that's ridiculous that somebody like Jason, who, and but which, let's bring this in, you know, many people are pointing out, he most likely, now I'm not going to, like, say for sure. And by the way, I don't want to make this just about Jason. In fact, it's kind of against community guidelines on YouTube to talk, to kind of almost, like, attack one specific person. And I'm not attacking him. I will never tweet at him. I will never tell people to go after him. Okay, and in fact, I'm telling you guys right now, this is a him problem that he started yesterday, but this is also like a wider issue with game journalists, which I will bring in another example. But we all kind of have a good suspicion that Jason was sitting on that Activision Blizzard story, right? I think we all feel pretty good in saying that the stuff that happened with Activision Blizzard, Jason probably has known for a very, very long time. In fact, there's people that are calling him out for it and seem pretty certain that he did know about it and of course he kind of sat on it because it didn't you know he would be it would be too bold it would actually be too risky to do something like that you have to come out with everybody else and that's the hilarious part now one thing i want to bring in to not make this uh simply about jason is this other games journalist and uh and his name is kirk mccann again don't touch him don't talk to him don't look at him you know all that kind of stuff and he said, one day I'll leave the games industry and tell you all about the mad BS I've had to put up with from someone this past year. Just be careful around people who constantly tweet about abusers because they're sometimes abusers themselves. Now, we all know this. We, I mean, literally Twitter has really amplified it, but a lot of these Twitter Puritans, a lot of these, uh, these like warriors that are, that are online like Jason and maybe even like this guy, right? They now... I kind of respect him a little bit for at least saying something, but he I, he does not get my full respect whatsoever because the, the 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 sad thing, and this is actually what I believe Sophia Narwitz uh, pointed out. She said, "Oh, Mister Journalist Man, why don't you stop being a coward and instead shine a light on someone who you know is abusing their position and status? If someone is uh, latching onto causes, it's a disingenuous manner. Call that." S word out. And that's exactly the case, right? That's kind of the case with all of this stuff with Hollywood, right? When people are just gushing over certain producers in Hollywood that have gone down or all the, you know, these different kinds of things. I, you know, it's part of the reason why I just don't trust Hollywood, why I don't like Hollywood. It's like, I get it's a risk. I get you're putting your career in jeopardy, but in reality, you're not. Because if these people are doing what you say, there will be others that will stand with you. It's just you'll probably be the first one. You know what I mean? Like someone has to take that jump. So that that applies to Jason. That applies to this Kirk guy. It's like, well, I, I'm going to give you like a finger applause for you know, shouting it out on Twitter to your couple tens of thousands of followers. But in reality, like Sophia said, if you know factually and you even admit that you're waiting until you get out so what you don't get like blacklisted so you don't get in trouble if they did what you say they did say something and then if if you're telling the truth there should probably be other people and evidence to support it that's the biggest problem with this kind of movement that we've seen in life in hollywood uh you know for different genders for different things it's like just do it when it happens and then if it's true you, it should be completely fine. It should. It should. If you believe in what you're saying or you believe in the entire principle of the movements, okay? So it's just, it's everybody is two faced. And we know that about gaming journalists. I mean, I tell you guys that all the time. They hate us. And I do not say that as a, like a hyperbolic statement. They don't like gamers. I mean, it. Jason Schreier specifically has made it more than clear he despises people. He'll block literally anybody who doesn't agree with him. If you don't agree with Jason Schreier, chances are you're not, you know, you can't see his tweets. I can only see him through uh, screenshots. I've never even tweeted to him. He, In fact, he actually admitted that he'll search people out and block them for his mental health. I mean, com come on. I don't, I didn't even do it. You know what I mean? And a lot of people never did it. So these are the people, by the way, feeding us information. It's laughable. It's kind of disgusting to be flat honest with you because you have situations of them picking, you know, when to insult a gaming studio, even though if I were to do it to or even, you know, people that were calling out Naughty Dog for Last of Us Part 2. Look, 
Again, threats are not okay. Taking that, like what they did to Laura Bailey, what they did to Neil Druckmann, and those are certain people, and that's a very small minority of people, by the way. What those people did is not right, and you should never, you know, back that. You should never do that. But if you want to criticize Naughty Dog, if you didn't like The Last of Us Part 2, go for it. I've always said that. Be respectful, but why not? I mean, they make games that we buy. We don't have a right to tell them we don't like something. We just have to like everything. And I'm not saying, you know, Last of Us is just one example. Pick anything, any movie, any game, any product. You're the ones buying it. You have the right to tell them you don't like it. But again, these are the people saying, oh, no, no, you can't do that. These guys are literally like, I'm a god, they're a god. You don't touch us. Like, that's like that's this, that's very disrespectful. Like, don't even look at me that way, honestly. And yet, these are the same people that when a gaming studio is made and there's not enough diversity, who, who cares what the studio is doing, by the way? Who actually cares? They, you call them out, but yet you're the one preaching for respect. It's laughable. And then again, the other part is like all these people are two faced. They'll preach, you know, inclusion. They'll they'll preach being respectful. They'll preach all of these different things, and yet they're friends with people that do it, or they know people that are doing, it, and they just they just keep quiet. It's like you're cowards. You're pathetic. That's what you guys are. All of them. All of them. Now. Is that a large majority of gaming journalists? Actually, it is. See, that's another problem. Is it's most of them. It's at, you know, I don't, I can't claim to know every single journalist on on planet Earth. Okay, but I think I've seen enough from, and not just like on Twitter, but I, like I've been to enough websites. I've seen enough people. I've I've listened to enough people that have been around for a long time that have that are still in it or have been kicked out of it because they're a little bit different, right? This is very clear that this literally is like a grand scale operation. Like everybody is like this. And there's very, very few that aren't. And if you aren't, you either are kept quiet or you keep yourself quiet or you, I don't know, or you just have left. You know what I mean? Because that really uh, doesn't fly anymore. So it's ridiculous. It just paints the picture again that these people are not good people whatsoever. You know, as I've always said, and it always, uh, it pains me to say it, like Jason Schreier is generally a good journalist. And I only say that because like he does get scoops. I would actually argue though, maybe he's a horrible journalist because again, like if the Activision Blizzard thing, if he knows about that two, three years ago and he sits on it for years and then he doesn't say anything until everybody else is saying anything, I would classify that as a scumbag and one of the worst possible journalists you can possibly be. I, I think that's fair. Okay. So, you know, at the same time, he gets scoops. I like his scoops. Like they're interesting to read. They're interesting to talk about. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth it. You know what I mean? A lot of these people are the same way. So very passionate, but these are just things, you know, I don't, I'm not pacing back and forth about this, but this is something that I have called out for many, many years. I have this platform where I feel like I'm able to. It's dangerous to do it, though. I mean, I, I know that maybe sounds like a stupid, you know, cliche kind of thing. It is dangerous because YouTube doesn't exactly like this kind of stuff going on. So I try to keep it, you know, I try to make sure I say all the right things. These were, you know, things I don't like about these people and about these entities of gaming journalists. But one more time. I will never talk to Jason Schreier. I will never talk to any of these people. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to, right? So no threats, no attacks, nothing like, you know, none of that garbage. You know, that's just going to get yourself in trouble and they could come back to me as well, even though I've said no, okay? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If there's anything else like this that uh, tends to happen, and it happens quite often, I do like to cover it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.